Hey everybody, Pastor Sarah here for our On the Road lesson. Um, I hope everyone is well. I know it's uh, Memorial Day weekend, so quite a few more, more of you will be using this tool. I hope it's working well. Please let, uh, leave a comment on the blog if uh, you want a different format or if things are working really well, different stories that you might have uh, from this project. Our scripture today uh, kind of continues. It's kind of the last in our, our, our series about what it means to uh, grow as, as Christians grow as uh, Christianity, um, talking about um, really multiplying our, our faith and our community. And today, this, this scripture from, um, this is Paul writing to the Corinthians, and he's writing about what it means to be, um, to kind of follow through with something you've promised. So the Corinthians, they had promised to give, uh, there was uh, kind of a famine going on, and uh, Paul was writing to the different churches to give to, uh, specifically, I think, to the Jerusalem church. Uh, people were really struggling in the Jerusalem church, and, and the early church giving was uh, making sure to take care of everyone. That was really what was happening. Um, the early church really talked about a lot about giving out of um, kind of making sure that everyone was taken care of no matter what. Um, there's a lot of conversation about different uh, socioeconomic things and uh, and levels and making sure that the, the rich members were taking care of the poor members and there was uh, an equality of sorts in that. Um, but Paul is talking to the Corinthians because they had started, they had promised, given this promise, but they hadn't followed through with it. So he's kind of writing this follow up and he's saying, you know, I know that you promised this and I know that you're going to do it. And I'm not really nudging you or telling you to do it. I'm just telling you about other people that did it. And so right before the scripture, uh, he's talking about the Macedonian church who had already given so much and the, they were they were faith, so faithful and, and so strong and that kind of thing. Uh, Paul was really good at manipulation. Uh, and so he he's he's urging them to follow through with something they had promised, follow through with their out of their faith. And uh, while this is an important understanding uh, to think through when it thinks through we think through our giving and how we give monetarily and 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 different things, but it's also really important to understand about how we feel about the the big things that we do in, with our faith, whether it is, um, I know uh, many of you promised to talk to somebody about your faith this year, just at least one person. And I wonder how many of you have done it already. Or if that fear, it takes um, the fear of talking about who we are and who we are in, in Christ uh, keeps us silent. You know, that fear that somebody's gonna gonna uh, take our what, what something that's done out of love and take it badly. Um, it's always a, f a fear we have uh, when it comes to sharing our faith. What if somebody doesn't like it? What if they are no longer my friend? Um, and what if, what if people assume things about me because of the way I talk about my faith? Uh, that isn't true. Um, you know, there are so many different kinds of Christians in the world and we, we don't want to be like those people or these people or that kind of thing. And we're afraid if we talk about any of it, uh, then we're going to get lumped in with, with uh, people we don't like. But I think that when it comes to kind of conquering our fears, last week we talked about conquering our fears and talking about the uh, stepping out of the boat and following Peter's example, and, you know, no necessarily walking on water, but doing something that really scares us. And so often when we decide to do something big as Christians, um, we can get stuck in our fears. We can get stuck in because it gets, we get pushed back and it gets hard. Um, you know, we're, we're working on starting a new worship service and really doing a lot of reaching out uh, here at Flame of Faith. And what does it mean to do those scary things, to talk to people, to talk to strangers about our faith, to talk to our friends and our family about our faith, to invite people to join us um, in ways that is scary because we're opening ourselves up to failure, but also ways that are scary because we're um, opening ourselves up to change. Adding new people to our congregation changes things, and that's always a little scary for everyone. Um, but sharing, it is the way that 
that Paul talks about this in uh, our scripture, sharing from your abundance, you know, uh, and what, what, what do we have the most abundance of? We have the most abundance of God's love. So sharing from God's, the abundance of God's love that, that, that affects us and how, um, how much we care for our friends and family and how much we care for others that we would want to share that amazing abundance of God's love. I hope that uh, you all are doing well wherever you are, uh, enjoying worship to, worshiping together. Uh, let, us, let us pray. Heavenly God, I thank you for all who are gathered everywhere today to worship you. I ask you to guide us, to give us your courage, to give us your hope, and help us to spread your abundance. In your precious and holy name, amen. I hope all is well. I'll talk to you later. Bye.